Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you so Ask me, they want your life here and shit. Me versus Bear, I think that bear bitch. Rule one stamp the shit. He gotta stay here if he ain't airing shit. Still get a badge, every team roll serious. Vanguard, he watched the whip, no war zone experience. Geechi, Geechi, Gotti. You, 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 you know what? That's unfair. What you did was disrespectful, it was unfair, it was uncalled for, you know? It was an unmitigated level of foolery. Why, why, what, why you diss that man like that? I watched that joint again today, it's even worse. Like, it's even, like, the way, it's not how you did, it's not why, it's how. And the level of disrespect that you had was bad, like, like, Ugh, like uh, you just hurt hurt the feelings. Like it just it just got really bad. Um, I was watching. Um, like I said, I, I peaked that battle again today. It, it, it definitely got nasty for for me. Um, it, it one round or two. Like it's some. It's funny that some of y'all uh, in one rounders didn't think that nigga could actually get body like that. Yeah, it was it was body bag. It's not even a this is not even a debatable issue. Like this was bad. Um, so Hitman Hollis, salute to Hitman Hollis and all that he has going on, things like that. Says he had tweeted the other day that the contract is waiting for Geechee's signature, things like that. And then he tweeted after the battle, he looked different versus them other guys as he should. He ain't did that to a battler from my era yet. Damn sure won't be me. Basically saying that he looked crazy, like. He looked in a possessed versus Mike P. Like it was, it was bad. Like Nick, use up, <clears throat> yeah, cause she rappers and she lied about it. Nigga, use up. She Mike P. She rider and you cried about like she went crazy. I can't put all that in the curse, curse, curse on YouTube. The algorithm be wild. But he looked, he looked possessed in that battle. Hit me holler, seen that and said, look, he might look crazy versus them. You mix the what with the what, you don't get the what. It ain't like that. Geechee Gotti put the devil, the, the little purple devil emoji, basically saying, all right, you, you, can, you can find out too. Um, I will say this, uh, I never, like Geechee, to me, he's street, he has a street style. He does the, the real life bars, you know, the click spray, what you know about getting shot and still having to go to work because you ain't got no more sick days type shit. He ain't say that, but that's some shit he would say. Um, he does that. He's been real talking, you know, uh, for a while. But to use an angle, like an angle angle, like, okay, I know it's an angle that people are, oh, it's an angle that everybody, people have used before. I get it. People have used the, the, the wife bars about Danny Myers. When he battled Mike P, Mike P did that angle, it was crazy. Parallel line, parallel. Yeah, he went crazy on him. He did. Yeah, he used the angle that was used a hundred times before. So I don't hear nothing about this, like I said in some of the other joints. Never accept something in a loss that you would not accept in a win, or never accept something in a win that you wouldn't accept in a loss. He did that to, did, to Danny Myers. And he got lined up the same way. And Geechee Gotti said, you're going to deal with this angle for the rest of your career, period. Um, but like Geechee Gotti versus Hitman Holler, the thing is that's so interesting about it is the league. What league is pushing this battle? Because we all know that Hitman got ties with Rare Breed Entertainment. He says he's made almost half a million. Congratulations to him. If he's making, I make the money off the showroom floor. You, nigga, they used to wake up on the showroom floor. Listen, if you getting that kind of money, listen here, get to the bag. Get paid, get paid. So, when Geechee says, when Hitman says uh, that the contract is waiting your signature and things like that, I don't know if it's for Rare Breed Entertainment or if it's for URL. You know what I'm saying? I know URL will be operating off this whole, you know, you battle over here, we don't want you to battle over there type shit. But other leagues is just trying to throw battles. Like, they don't give, like, they don't care. Because URL don't care about other leagues' business models. They'll pull artists off cards. Shit, we seen these niggas even book battle, book events on the same day. So, huh, 
it, what gets lower than low? It, you know what I mean? They, you, so it is what it is. We've seen niggas go low, pull artists off cards, tell artists if you go over there, you can't come back over here. They, they pull all the stops to try to get a nigga off a card. So I don't know if the if the Hitman versus Geechee is a URL thing or RBE thing. I'm thinking, if you're asking me, I'm thinking with my mind and minds, I'm thinking it's an RBE battle that they probably trying to get Geechee to battle on Rare Breed. Now, while I know Geechee has a lot of juice, you know what I'm saying, he's doing a lot on, he, he's, he's up there as far as in the ranks of battle rap and doing things like that. I don't know if it's to a point where he could just be like, yo, I'm going battle on Rare Breed even if it's one battle. I think it would be Fire and Brimstone, they will try to do, they will try, they'll fuck around and cut the power cords of that building. They'll probably pay Geechee the, the, the max to keep him off a card like that. I ain't gonna lie, that would probably be one of the most shocking moves of the year if he said, I'm gonna take my talents over here. I'm doing, I'm doing me. I'm a, not to go forever, you know what I'm saying? There's other artists that'll battle on Rare Breed, pick up a check, and then come back. You see, you see Goods do it all the time. Charlie Clips does it all the time. King Loach just did it. I don't, I don't, you know, I be seeing niggas be with the, oh, if it ain't here, if it ain't there. I don't be giving a fuck about that, like for real. I think niggas, like, niggas got kids, niggas got families, niggas got bills, niggas got wives, niggas got mamas, niggas got all this shit. Get the money. Like, the money is important. Like, for the league, I get it, you know, we want artists that's only going to be over here and now they got a y'all. If a nigga could go make 20, 30, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars for 15 minutes of their time, three, four minute rounds, man, go get that fucking money. I'm sorry, like that, that, that shit, this is not the NBA. It's not like if a nigga play for the Patriots this year, this week, next week he's gonna play for the Browns, then the week after that he's gonna play for the Titans. No, nigga, you're on your team. If you do something on the side, it is what it is. Um, but Hitman Holler is saying that the contract is awaiting Geechee Gotti's signature. I don't know what that means. I don't know what league it's on. If it's on the URL, then, you know, cooler heads prevail. I mean, Hitman Holler is still a household name. And um, he's, he's able to, to win. He's able to win battles in big rooms. He's able to win battles in small rooms. Like, it, he, he don't need much. And that face-off would be epic. Like, because Hitman Holler is basically saying Geechee Gotti ain't done it against nobody from his era. You look tall amongst the people that look small. And Geechee Gotti at this point, he's very hard to beat, man. Like, I know people will try to say he doesn't have a complex style because he's not metaphysical, lyrical, critical, pitiful. Like, he's not doing that. I get it. But he can say things. We're not equal. I don't shoot guns. I shot people. Like, shit like that that's, like, mad. You know, the fucking, my homie mom paid a phone bill so she could still hit a voicemail. Like, shit like that. It just resonates very well with people. And I feel like he even made that up. Salute to you for that. I feel like um, if you stand in front, like he had a newfound level of aggression versus Mike P. I don't know if it was the disrespect. I don't know if because Mike P, you know, he was going on a fucking public campaign telling everybody who would listen that Geechee Gotti was not that good and that, you know, we, we baby him. He even said it in the battle, like, you know, if it wasn't for them pushing you to infinity and beyond, you would have never left Andy's room or whatever the case may be. But... <laughs> you got your motherfucking ass whooped from here to across the street. So I don't know if it's like, you know, he might not be good. He might not be good to you, but he was good enough to get you out of here. Like the the, the soul flying, even his guardian angels ducking. Like you got your ass small. I ain't seen nobody get their ass whooped that bad in a, in a little minute. I ain't gonna lie. It was a fucking body bag. It was so much of a body bag that the people were standing around watching the shit when he was rapping. It was like, why are you even still here? Like nobody gives a fuck. That's how the people in the building was, not me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it is what it is. But uh, I definitely would like to see Hitman versus Geechee. I think it's time for it. Uh, League-wise, URL, RB, I don't really even give a fuck. What, I just want to see the two names across each other on the card. Because Hitman got enough power to, to make things happen. And, you know, Geechee's at the top of the world right now. Like, literally at the top of the world. But that was uh, very disrespectful. You didn't have to do that. Like... Come on, like what? I be thinking, what did he do to make that nigga so mad? Like, why was he so? He was a different level of aggression. Like, I, I could tell. 
I've seen Geechee in a number of battles. He wasn't even this mad at A-Ward who he lost to already. Like, he wasn't even that mad at him. He was... He was mad. I'm gonna walk off from you. I don't wanna hear none of this shit. <laughs> Golly! He didn't wanna let you rap, dog. That was a whooping. Y'all, it is what it is. But, let's think. Has Geechee... Geechee's battled a lot of people from Hitman era. He ain't body, body, body bag none of them niggas like this, though. Like, he beat a lot of people. Like, to me, I could go, like, if I thought through all of Geechee's battles versus, like, competition from Hitman's era and all of that, he's got some wins. He's got some classics. But bodies like this, nah, nah, nah. But it's the fact that the niggas that's with his era and all, they can't keep up with him. They can't. Like, they can't. It's a, it's a difference in skill level. You can say what you want, like, oh, it's just real talk bars, or oh, it's just this, 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 this. It's like Hershey Hawkins versus Michael Jordan. Yeah, y'all might play the same position, y'all might play in the same league, but it'll look real different when it's in front of you. That backup don't look the same when it's in front of you. It, it is what it is. And then on the West Coast, too, I seen Geechee saying, you know, he can't wait for the events to go back to the East. Like, niggas will lose on the East, the South, the North, the Northwest, the, the Southeast. Like, it don't matter because, you know, a lot of battle rappers are saying, oh, it's the gas on the West. The West Coast is helping these niggas. No. I seen Geechee battle Tay Rock in Philly. And I seen him leave Earth. That shit resonates well. It travels. Like, that shit is not no... Just because he's on the West Coast, he's going to win type shit. It don't mean, nah, 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 no, I cannot agree with that. I've seen him win in Atlanta. He battled Twerk in Atlanta. He 3 0 him, you know, on the billboards and all that. So let's not act like he got to just be some. Y'all be, be real selective, like, to remember and to forget shit. But don't worry. That's why I'm here. I'm going to remind you niggas every time. He did not just make his career a win on the West Coast. It's just convenient because that's where caffeine is located and that's where shit started popping off after the uh, COVID shit hit. But don't get it twisted and think that he ain't never won. He ain't never won on the road. Like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all niggas is bugging, son. Niggas is bugging. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all want to see. Hitman versus Geechee is something that we're that we looking for. Huh? Huh? What's up?